You can watch full episodes of Feed the Vets on BBC iPlayer. Welcome to the dun 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 I think you need a check-up. A check-up? That's right. We think you need a check-up. A check-up. All right. Dun 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 dun. The vet will take a look. It won't take very long. She'll make sure you have these Dun 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 dun. You're a very healthy turtle. That's a relief. Oh, I do have one more question. No problem. What is it? Can I have a hug? Of course. Thank you, Vida. See you soon. Bye, Tippy. See you later. OK, next up is Koa the tiger. Koa, we're ready for you. Koa? Where'd he go? And where's Zigzag? <laughs> <gasps> That sounds like Koa. Come on, Popcorn. We've got to find him. <laughs> Koa, Zigzag, what happened? And why do you have so many sweeties? Well, Koa was feeling hungry, so we asked around and got him some sweets. At first, Koa was excited, but now... <laughs> My teeth hurt more than ever. Koa, I'm sorry your teeth are hurting. I think I know what the problem is. But just to be sure, I think you need a checkup. A checkup? That's right. I think you need a checkup. Oh, a checkup. All right. The vet will take a look. It won't take very long. Oh, make sure you're healthy and strong. Watch full episodes of Feed the Vets on BBC iPlayer. All righty, I'm going to use my headlamp and my mirror to look at your teeth. Now say ah. Ah. Uh... Hmm. I see. Does this hurt? Uh... I'll take that as a yes. Well, Koa, I have good news and bad news. The good news is you don't have a cavity. Phew! The bad news is you have a lot of bacteria on your teeth. No wonder your mouth is hurting. Bacteria? W w where did it come from? Bacteria comes from the food you eat. And sugar is like a magnet for bad bacteria. Koa, my diagnosis is that you've been eating too many sugary sweets. It's not good for your body. Or for your tea. If you want to feel better, you have to eat less sugar. Less sugar? Let me explain. Sweet tea. I know you've got a sweet tea. I'd like to see your teeth hurt. My advice is to eat less dessert. Sugar. You only need a little sugar. Have a little sugar as you treat for the day. And brush, 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 brush. The sugar away. A painful tooth will put you in a bad mood. Bad mood. So make sure that you know what is in your food. What's in, in your, your food? Sugar. Just a little sugar. Too many sweets will lead to tooth decay. Only eat a little sugar and brush the sugar away. Oh, my teeth feel so much better. Thanks, Vida. You're welcome, Koa. Now remember, not too many sweets and don't forget to brush. Especially after you have sugar. I won't. <laughs> well, Popcorn, you ready to go home? Ready! Bye, Koa! Bye! That sounds great for young and old. Let's fill this bathtub up with the up. Cold. I am scared of big, big tub. You'll need a leafer and a towel and some bath toys. More, more, more. I am scared. Towel too little. 
battle. I am scared what Luther for. Finally we'll add some bubbles for your very bubbly batter. So hop right in, get squeaky clean and see you Episodes of Vida the Vet on BBC iPlayer. Whoa! I'm stuck! Mm -hmm. I'm stuck too! Mm -hmm. Oh no! I'm so sorry, Juno. I didn't know how nervous you were about the bar. It okay, Vida. Okay, let me use my head torch to take a closer look and get you both unstuck. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, almost. Done. <sighs> Everything stick to me. Uh, even me. <laughs> that tickles. You know, in the bathtub, we could wash all the sap off you and then you wouldn't be sticky anymore. Your bath's scary. Yeah, new things can be scary. Hmm, what part of bath time makes you feel scared, Gino? Um, everything! Well, why don't we take baby hippo steps to make you feel more comfortable? You can pick everything. The towel, the bubbles we put in, no surprises. And we can stop any time you want. Unstick leaf? <laughs> yes, we can unstick your leaf and you won't be sticky anymore. <sighs> OK, Vida. OK, baby hippo steps. First, let's make sure your towel's the right size. Towel, please. Towel! It not too little. Love it. And we'll show you the loofah. This is what we'll use to scrub the sticky off you. It's very soft. Loofah, please. Loofah! A loofah orange like leaf. Next, we'll fill the tub with water. Water, please. Whoa! I'm scared. Water cold. I gotcha. Warm it is. And how about this? You can try the water before you get in. It warm. I'm still scared of tub. Well, you don't have to go in, but you're just about to get to the fun part. Ha <laughs> ha! Bubbles. Da 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 da. da. I like bubbles. <laughs> More bubbles. <laughs> More bubbles. <laughs> More bubbles. Wait, too much bubbles. Too much bubbles? No problem. Thank you. <laughs> OK, Gino, you're almost there. The very last baby hippo step is to get in the tub. What's wrong? I'm scared. Bubbles go in. Nose or ears? Well, fun fact! When hippos go in water, they can close their nose and their ears so nothing gets in. No water and no bubbles. Really? <laughs> OK, I try. <sighs> I did it! Right! <laughs> you go, Juno! Now let's get you squeaky clean. Bath time's great for young and old. Every time we fill the tub up with the upper. I like water, warm or cold. And I like this big, big tub. You've got your lever and your towel. And some bath toys. More, de more, more. <laughs> I like Lufa so, so much. I know one hippo is going to be excited to see you. <laughs> Kip, Fergie, there you 
you are. Sorry we weren't there to help you, Mina. I'm ready now. I'm double ready. Great. It's really nice that you're both here to help. But remember, helping isn't a contest. It's all about teamwork. Don't worry, Prickly. I'm just going to use my magnifying glass to look at your scraped paw. Looks like you just need a bandage. I'll have you fixed up in a one, two, three. Kip, Fergie, can you get one from the recovery room? I'm on it. You got it, boss. I told Vida I'm on it. No, five on it first. No, no me. <laughs> Everything okay over there? You can watch full episodes of Vida the Vet on BBC iPlayer. Oh, yeah, bandage coming right up. <sighs> what? Uh oh. Looks like you two could use some help. Help me? But I'm the best help in Sweetwood. Not true, I am. Kip, Faggy. <sighs> I guess I'll have to help Prickly on my own. Huh. Now that I think about it, I don't think we've been very helpful today, have we? Ah, oh, no. Popcorn, we messed up big time. We were supposed to be helpful. But now we're all wrapped up. I could see that. Want to know my secret to being Vida's helper? What? Tell us. You gotta stick together, that's rule number one. You gotta help each other to get things done. Cos when you work together, everything runs smooth and there's nothing that you can't do. Take turns. You first. Listen carefully. Good idea. And try not to yell. Stay calm. <sighs> it's not a contest, remember you're here to help. You gotta stick together, that's rule number one. You gotta help each other to get things done. Yeah, when it comes to helping, we're a team of two. You got me. And I got you. We did it. We worked together. Great job. Now everybody. When we work together, everything runs smooth and there's nothing that we can't do. It's rest for me. I'm sorry it took us so long to learn we had to work together, Vida. Yeah, I'm double sorry. I mean, we're both sorry. Can we start maybe help? Pretty please, with a lollipop on top. <laughs> of course. We have a few more patients that could use your help. Ready to work together? Definitely! Yeah! Can we go? Can we play? Not in Poison Ivy, you can't. We need to stop your other friends before they all get the itchy scratchies. Oh, follow us! Yep, just what I thought. Poison Ivy. Hey! I thought you said your friends were already out to play. There they are! Everyone, freeze! Whoa! Gotcha, buds. Oh, thanks, Vida. But why did you stop us from jumping in the leaves? These leaves are poison ivy, and if you touch them, you'll get the itchy scratchies. So, when you see these leaves are three, let them be. Let them be. If you touch them, it'll be so itchy. So itchy. When plants give you itchy scratchies, please don't rub your red, red rashies. Or you could get even itchier. Let them be. Itchy plants.
wants an itchy scratchies, Vida. <laughs> yeah. Let's go find a new place to play. And if we see leaves are free... We'll let them be. Right. <laughs> yeah. You can watch full episodes of Vida the Vet on BBC iPlayer. <gasps> Vida! The smell gets worse when the singing gets loud. Oh, could it be to the music room? Eucalyptus from the eucalyptus tree. I, I can't believe it! I'm afraid that's true! Your singing is the cause of the smell! It's coming from Pippin Koala's mouth! Vida? Pippin, you may be suffering from a mild case of bad breath. <gasps> P.U. That's not mild, it's wild! I didn't know my breath smelled like skunk tail. How come you didn't tell me? We didn't want to hurt your feelings. Pippin, are you taking care of your teeth like I taught you? Uh-huh, Mama. I promise. Every day when I wake up and before bed. Always. It's OK, Pippin. Bad breath happens to everyone, even me. Really? Even you? Mm-hmm. But when bad breath happens all the time, it could mean there's a bigger problem. Oh, no, no, no. Say it's not true. Something is wrong with me. Nothing's wrong with you. I think I know what's causing your bad breath. But we need to make sure. Will you come to the clinic for a checkup? Yes, yes, yes. I want sweet breath. We'll, we'll come to I think you need a checkup. A checkup? That's right, we, we think you need a check, but we'll check up. All right. Dun, 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 the vet will take dun, a look. Dun, it won't take very long. She'll make sure you have these drugs. Dun, 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 dun. We think you need a check up. I'm ready. A check up. Hooray! OK, Pippin, please open wide like this. to take a close look in your mouth with my otoscope, OK? Ah! I see. Mm-hmm. Pippin, my diagnosis is clear. Your bad breath can be solved by flossing. <laughs> I've taught all my children to brush and floss every day. Uh, you've been brushing and flossing, haven't you, Pippin? Oh, um... Well, I thought flossing was boring, so I just brushed extra instead. A lot of extra. But flossing helps get rid of the food and bacteria in between your teeth. It does? Mm-hmm. When food and bacteria mix, it can make bad smells in your mouth. They can? Yep. That's why you should always floss before bed if you can. Especially when you're a koala who may be asleep a long, long time. I try to get lots of sleep every night. Good! Then definitely floss. It makes your breath better and fights yucky things like cavities. I didn't know flossing does all that. I want to floss, but I forgot how to do it. Flossing is simple. I even know a song that makes it fun. I love singing new songs. I bet you really like singing this song. It's called Be A Floss Floss. Oh, wow. Your toothbrush can't reach everywhere. That's why you need to floss. Food gets trapped, so please be aware. You really need to floss. Your breath must start to smell bad. So floss, floss, floss. And it's really, really easy to be a floss floss. And wrap it round your fingers Hold it right there, use your thumb Slide it in between your teeth, don't linger Gently rub up and down, now you're done Now every night remember to floss, floss, floss Cos it's really, really easy to be a floss, floss You just take your floss and wrap it round your fingers Hold it right there, use your thumb
love CBeebies? Well, you can learn, sing and explore with all your favourite CBeebies friends like Number Blocks, Mr Tumble, Bluey, Jojo and Grand Grand and so much more. Why not ask your grown-up to download the BBC iPlayer app where you can watch all your favourite CBeebies friends anytime, any way you like.